Hello friends, welcome to Java tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to study about the exception handling. First of all, what is exception? Exceptions are the objects that defines the abnormal conditions that interrupts the normal flow of the program. It means exceptions is nothing but the error. There are two types of errors. Compile time error and runtime error. Compile times error are compile times errors are syntax error or compile error. Various runtime errors are exception. Class exception is subclass of base superclass throwable. There are two types of exception: checked exception and unchecked exception. Let's discuss about the unchecked exception. Unchecked exception must be extends runtime exception class or arithmetic exception class or null pointer exception class. Unchecked exception can be occurred anywhere in the program but not compulsorily. Unchecked exception is an exception which extends the runtime exception. Now, let's discuss about the checked exception. Checked exception is exception which doesn't extend runtime exception. This exception avoids the compile time error. As an example, IO exception is a checked exception. Now let's look at the exception handling. Now let's take a look to how to handle exception. It is a mechanism for handling exception by detecting and responding to exceptions in uniform and reliable manner. In exception handling, we can catch the exception to run our program without any runtime error. There are five keywords which is used in exception handling. Try, catch, throw, throws and finally. Throwing an exception. When we want to detect an abnormal condition, then it is called throwing exception. Catching an exception. The exception which is thrown must be caught. It is called catching an exception. Now let's take a look at the try and catch block which is a good mechanism for exception handling. Using try and catch block we can monitor and catch exception. So we can protect our code from exception and program can run smoothly without any error. Try block contains the code which may cause the exception. Catch block must be followed by the try block. Catch block contains code to be executed if exception occurs. Here is the syntax of try and catch block. In try block, there is a code which may cause exception. Catch, it takes parameter as exception class and object. In its body there is a feedback code if any exception occurs. To clarify your idea about the try and catch block let's take a look at the example. This is the example of try and catch block. Here in example i, j and k are the integer variables. This is the try block. Here value 5 is assigned to variable i. Value 0 is assigned to variable j. And this is the i divided by j. And result captures into k. Now this is the catch block. In its parameter it contains the arithmetic exception. Because here k is equal to i divided by j. Which means 5 divided by 0 which is not possible. 
which is an abnormal condition of maths. So here we can take arithmetic exception class and this is the code to be executed if this exception occurs. Now let's run this program. After run this program we can get output like this divide by zero not possible which is our statement here and which is comes from the catch block. It means here in try block exception occurs so the program skips the try block and display the catch block. I think now you have clear idea about the try and catch block.